Hi everybody, uh, today I just want to take a look at some of the business incubators uh, and just different kind of startup, uh, different options in the Seattle area. So um, there's actually quite a lot uh, of areas, but I wanted to kind of focus on mostly on the downtown area, maybe look at a little bit into like Bellevue and down as far south as Tacoma possibly. but. Uh, but I want to focus primarily in the downtown area and just see what we can find um, in terms of uh, the incubators. But basically what's going on in Seattle is that downtown area is pretty much in this area here. Um, there's also a lot of tech companies going on on here and then along the waterfront here. And then also up in Queen Anne, there's maybe a little area here and some other areas back in here. But basically there's the Washington University District over here. Um, maybe has some areas and then it's pretty quick to get over to Bell Bellevue so there's a road that you can take just get in in Bellevue um, and that kind of gives you the option so there's basically Bellevue we're going to probably look at too and then maybe some other ones in downtown let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole Seattle area and like where we're talking about um, so basically you can see I'm zoom way way out here so can see kind of what's going on with the whole earth uh, but basically there's this huge mountain range that comes all in here and then Seattle is basically the end here where this is uh, Victoria Island and so on uh, so perhaps one of the most globally recognized uh, startup incubator accelerator programs in Seattle is this Techstars program um, I'll open up a little web link for you to see what the website looks like um, but basically they have some like requirements and different things um, but uh, it may be possible to contact some other companies here um, that have gone through their program and uh, look for some work uh, working with them uh, so on their website they can see that they run quite a number of these startup weekends uh, and startup weeks um, you can see they're pretty much all over the place they got one in Bahrain, uh, Chennai uh, and a number of other places um, but pretty interesting to see that here so here's kind of an overview of what they've got so basically 71 billion dollars of total uh, graduate market cap which is quite a lot of money uh, when you think about it and then they've funded uh, 20 excuse me uh, 21 billion and so in 70 71 billion for the market cap um, so they got over 2,000 almost 3,000 companies here um, and then uh, this is the average uh, amount of money that they raise per company. Uh, so what especially like here is you can you know, contact some of the companies you can see under unicorns or they have companies in the program currently or all companies total. Um, so that's kind of interesting just to see uh, what's been going on. So uh, Techstars is not actually headquartered in Seattle. Um, it actually is headquartered in Boulder, according to the Wikipedia page here. Um, and they got a couple of key people, about four or so. Um, but it's interesting to see also they got a number of companies that are unicorns. So these are, uh, some of them are publicly traded, um, but they're basically uh, big, larger companies, uh, more established that they've been pretty successful already. Um, you can see a list here on uh, DigitalOcean, uh, Outreach, and uh, I noticed the Trader View is also in here too, so that was interesting to see. Trading View. So you can see on the left here they have a panel showing the different tech stars. So basically how this all started is that it probably started in Boulder and then they linked about 22 different uh, startup accelerators including that uh, one in the Seattle so you can see they have a number of them in Chicago Techstars Chicago um, and uh, some others uh, next I want to talk about Comotion Labs this is University of Washington's uh, collaborative innovation hub and they are run by the faculty researchers and students um, and it looks pretty interesting. I was looking at where it's located here on a map. You can kind of see um, it's pretty close to the university, kind of in the uh, business district out in here. Um, there's Techstars is in here, and then this is where the Comotion Lab is. 
Uh, so from the street view, you can see it looks got this sign up here, Co-Motion Lab, uh, your innovations partner. So it looks like a pretty seriously large building. Um, probably interesting to investigate uh, what's going on in this building, but uh, I don't know if it's the whole building or what, but it's quite a large facility here uh, to check out. So on their website, you can see kind of what the building looks like. It looks like they got a couple of different kind of facilities inside of there. Uh, including kind of like a maker space uh, and then they got their companies list here that you can check out as well so it looks pretty cool just to see who else are loading it's gonna take a little bit to load but on their website they got a couple of videos here for success stories so you can kind of see uh, some maybe videos showing some of the companies here so they also have a news and events uh, page so you can see by month and it looks like they got uh, kind of like a startup program an internal startup program where they're trying to get uh, $50,000 in grants to teams uh, one one million dollars per year to a team as well but it looks like a University of Washington team so kind of interesting just to see um, now under about uh, you can select the team and they have quite a big staff here so there's just quite a number of people working here. You can see it goes quite all along. So uh, it's pretty interesting just to see. Looks like these are the main managers here, so you can maybe contact one of them. Okay, so that's a Co-Motion Lab. Next I'm gonna talk about the Allen Institute of Artificial Intelligence. There's actually, it looks like quite a number of buildings and different facilities, but so I'm not totally sure if this is the exact one. Um, but there's another one in uh, Lake Union area. Uh, I think it's on the south side over here, or in this area, I believe. Um, but uh, this one looks to be pretty nice. It's right on the waterfront, and you can kind of see um, what's going on here. So. So a pretty nice facility. So here's the AI2 incubator, uh, Allen Institute. Uh, and they're basically trying to keep AI as kind of the main kind of concept of most of these startups. So you see like they have like .ai for a lot of their web addresses. We can see some of the companies here. So not a whole lot, so just a few of them, but uh, but probably interesting just to take a look at. Now if you're looking for work with one of the startups, they do have a pretty nice career section, so you can click on that. And then they got different lists of about 48 jobs or so. Uh, so here's the Founders Institute, and what I did is I clicked on About Us, and then it took us to this page here. So you can see that they got quite a number of people um, working with them. I'm not sure, you know, they have all over the world actually they got just tons of locations so I don't know if this is our full team or just partly um, or a mix of people who also work with Seattle based uh, operations uh, so you can also click on alumni they got quite a number of alumni here some that I've heard of some that I haven't uh, Udemy for example I've heard of um, but there's quite a number of these here it goes on and on so there's just Quite a number of quite a number of companies. I'm not sure if I have time to do the others here, but there's a couple others that look pretty interesting. Pioneer Square Labs look pretty interesting, um, and then based on the number of alumni, I was just going to say certain ones here might be pretty pretty interesting. Uh, there's actually a woman in Cloud Accelerator. This looks. But yeah, so anyway, so um, I'll try to take a look at these. I thought saw Surf had an actual facility that looked pretty interesting as well. Um, but if you have any ideas and thoughts, let me know. I'd be glad to do some further research. Give me a thumbs up and uh, add me, and I'll try to uh, add more stuff in the future like this if you like it. Thank you.